Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Do you want to trap your guests in your park but don't feel like dealing with all that nasty complaining about wanting to go home and escape the simulation? Well, you're in luck because today I will teach you a way to trap your guests in your park and keep them happy at the same time. The main problem we have to solve here is that once guests have decided they want to go home, there is no way to reverse that. And if they can't find the exit, they will get unhappy and that kills your park rating. While they are looking for the park exit, they don't want to ride any rides or buy anything from a shop or stall. Actually, there is one exception to this, which are free transport rides. Sometimes people build parks with two separate areas that are only connected via some kind of transport ride. It would suck really hard if guests were in the area without a park entrance, wanted to go home and refused to take the transport ride back to the other area. The lift all on its own would be a very dangerous ride, as guests could become stuck at the top, refusing to ride back down. To prevent this, Chris Sawyer made the decision to make guests always ride a free transport ride. This doesn't mean that they will actively seek out free transport rides, but rather that no guest, leaving the park or not, will pass up the opportunity to go on a free transport ride if they stumble upon one. You can see this effect in action here. The only guests that don't go on the ride are the ones that can't because another guest is entering the queue line at the same time. This alone is not enough to keep them happy though. If you trap a bunch of guests on a path loop with a transport ride, they will keep riding it, but they will also be very unhappy while doing so. However, there is a way to prevent guests from losing happiness while queuing for a ride, and that is with queue line TVs. If a guest is waiting for a ride and there is a TV on the path tile that they are standing on, their happiness will never change and they will never leave the queue. Now the question becomes, how do we trap guests in a queue line forever? We could build a very long ride with only a small train, but that takes up a lot of space and doesn't actually trap them forever. A better way is to prevent the ride from going at all. There are several ways to do this. You could build a ride with two stations, make the other station inaccessible and make the train wait for a full load on that station. No guests will ever board the train, so the train will never depart. This could lead to guests heading for that inaccessible station and not being able to find it though, so it's not perfect. A better method is synchronizing the ride with itself and only giving it one train. Since there is never a train at both stations simultaneously, the train will never depart. You could either have the other station be exit only or build a queue line on both sides. The problem with this method is that it only works in open RCT2 as transport rides cannot synchronize in vanilla. My favorite method is to set the minimum waiting time to 127 seconds or more. Because of a bug in the game, this causes the train to wait forever and never depart. This allows you to make the design very small and compact as there is no need for another station. If you're watching this in the future, it is possible that OpenRCT2 has fixed this bug, in which case you should use the previous method. But what is this all actually useful for? Well, it's most useful for getting lots of guests in a short amount of time, like in vanilla RCT2 speedruns. My current record for empty airfield uses this exact strategy. Because I trapped all the guests in a few very long queue lines, I only needed to generate exactly the 3000 guests needed for the goal. This is obviously faster than having some guests leave the park so that you need to generate some extra guests again. There are other uses as well, but I leave that for you to figure out. If you want to learn more about transport rides, you can click this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.